Hey guys, Joe Kulas here once again uh, for K Tactical. Just gonna be doing a little bit of a review on the UTG case. And some people might be wondering this is a little bit of a smaller case. Uh, it's actually about 26 inches externally, 26 and a half. Uh, in internal compartments, it can hold about 25 and a half or so. So it's your pretty much medium range gun case, is what it is. Or for a couple pistols, something of that sort. Uh, it won't fit your standard AR-15, stuff like that. But I'm going to kind of get into a couple of reasons of why I originally got it and some pros and cons to this case. Now, uh, originally I bought this for a trunk gun case. Something that is, uh, you know, discreet enough where, again, size-wise too, you know, only being 26 inches long, uh, and what, probably about foot, foot and a half tall. I uh, can put a pretty decent amount of stuff in, and <clears throat> it doesn't stick out a sore thumb like a gun case. Now when it's also all black, you have your little ID thing here, uh, yeah, ID thing, and then the UTG. A lot of people don't, you know, understand or know that that's a gun thing. Alright, and besides that, it kind of looks maybe like a weird bookcase. So, besides that, let's get into what it has to offer. Now, standard has this exterior pocket, which, when you open it up, it just has... <clears throat> Uh, three magazine pouch compartment. So one, two, three. Sorry, as I just got done in here. Anyways, so you have a three compartment. Now, kind of a cool thing is there's Velcro in here, so it's going to keep those magazines from kind of wobbling and going everywhere. Unfortunately, it's not the best Velcro, uh, but because of the top here, magazines have never really went flying around anywhere. Uh, so that's kind of a perk. Do I put magazines in there currently? I do not. <clears throat> now cool thing is you don't really need to use this just for magazines. Uh, what I actually did, and I'm going to get to it a little bit here uh, while I'm doing this, I had a six magazine pouch thing here for mod gear. Uh, it's for your uh, AKs and whatnot. I actually had this thrown in here. As you can kind of see, the camera angle is not the best, but it fit in here when you uh, zipped it. So I had that in there, uh, a machete, one extra 40 round mag, uh, some MREs and water uh, tablets for just purification. That's what I had in here. Did not stick out that much. It was a six machete, and that stuff just kind of piled on this other side. So you know, it was going out. Uh, it's a decent amount, but it didn't really look too bad. Uh, and then internally, you have your compartments for basically, again, if you want to make it more secure than not, you have that ability. Uh, for me, I actually had, and this is my trunk gun currently, it's probably going to be it forever, I have my underfolder AK-47, which as you can see here, it just barely fits, I'll try not to move the tripod here, but just barely fits. Uh, it is a very, very tight fit, but it does work. So, that's kind of what the inside here has to offer. It does come with the yeah, Velcro straps, which is a very, you know, that's at least... A, a perk I would consider uh, and yeah it's not too bad of value it is also very soft in here so it's not going to scratch up your gun any of that fun stuff uh, and then again the back is very plain there's no velcro anything to put uh, you know like tags on or anything it's just reinforced for if you want to carry handle it or if you want to go with your old school you know over the shoulder strap and I uh, will go through a couple things with this. Uh, the over the shoulder strap here, this is actually very comfortable. Uh, I've walked long distances with it before. It's very, very, very comfortable. Uh, and this seems very sturdy and well built. So does the handguard, or sorry, not handguard, uh, handle here. Now, obviously as well, uh, it does have the simple option. Come on. Where, for long traveling, you can put this together and then so it's more padded, it's more of a cozy feel. So uh, that was a really good feature as well. Now, uh, kind of going the downfall. I mean, that's it's a pretty simple case. Again, everybody, it's nothing uh, super unique or you know crazy. But the case uh, was in my trunk for about six months, and honestly, here's the the couple downfalls. When I first I first got it about a year ago, didn't really use it too much. Uh, but let me see the zippers. The zippers, I'm going to try to get this in there as best I can. As you guys can see, they're pretty bent. 
That happened from pretty much day one. Really surprised that those never broke. Never tried bending them back, just, you know, simply just and I'm like, well, this is weird, and they just bent a little bit more and a little bit more every time. Uh, the zippers on here suck ass, and as well, the zipper lining is not that great. Uh, so, I guess, in the aspect, if you're going to buy this for a very, very light rifle, you're going to put maybe three magazines. It's probably fine. I was doing much more of a heavy duty out of it, you know, a lot of weight for its size, uh, and it just did not last at all. So I'm going to be actually throwing this case away. Uh, it's unfortunate, but you know, it's, eh, I gave it a try. Uh, I think it ran for about $35 at the time. I think now it's probably still around $35, $40. Uh, not a bad case, but just definitely not great. So if anybody's interested, you know, I mean, it's definitely not something not bad to get. But yeah, definitely if you're going to have a lot of weight and whatnot. And again, that's what I was going to use it for. Uh, just definitely did not hold up. So, but yeah, the zipper lining was basically what really, really sucked about this. So, definitely wasn't made to, uh, I guess, roll around, you know, in a trunk. And again, I really don't know how that broke the zipper in, because the AK fit a little snug, but, uh, you know, it wasn't anything, like, crazy. So, that's just kind of, again, how it got to me. And the AK got a little marked up as well. So, but that's one thing I'm, that just kind of, you know ticked me off about the case so hope this kind of helps anybody interested in possibly looking at one of these cases or a smaller medium you know firearms case so because unfortunately they don't really make a lot of these uh, smaller medium sized cases and that's kind of the hard thing about looking into them so they make a ton of you know AR-15 like 36 inch cases whatever uh, those to me stick out much more of a sore thumb than this this is obviously you know about, about a foot less so this is obviously just, you know, it's more, people aren't going to think, and also they see it, people aren't going to think that, hey, there might be a gun in there. So if that, you know, shits the fan scenario where all of a sudden, you know, again, yeah, again you never know the scenario, you never know. Uh, that, that crazy scenario where you're like, oh shit, I'm going to grab my gun, i got to get off the streets, you know, whatever. Uh, I, I would rather have something a little bit more discreet than those longer cases. But unfortunately, uh, there's not again, there's not many out there, and this is just definitely not uh, worth the money, in my opinion. Just to not hold up. I'm going to be getting a Mezzi a hard case that is actually it's, uh, 26 inches for the interior dimensions. And it actually looks like a really fancy uh, briefcase. So, but it's like a hard aluminum one. Uh, I'm very excited. That's back ordered. That was around $80. But, um... You know, something a little bit more discreet is obviously, in my opinion, better than not. So, but that's kind of the whole point of it for me was for a uh, trunk gun case and unfortunately did not hold up. If you're looking for something, I guess just to probably just go to the range and back to, this is probably great for you, if not better. So, I guess just kind of keep a couple of those things in concept with what you're going to use it for. As well, some of you guys, you really know what I'm talking about with just using it to bring to the, uh, to bring to the range. Uh, like, I'll show you the kind of the case I'm using currently off to the side here a little bit. Like this. This is, you know, good for anything. The one that you're supposed to just take it off the cam here. This is good for anything. But, come on. Let's go. Alright, so this is the case. Everything's kind of smudged around right now. But you can kind of see a little bit how it fits in there. Obviously, I got a lot of extra room. But when it's closed... Yeah, obviously. So, but, but yeah. So, uh, hopefully, again, this helps people looking into cases and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, feel free to uh, sub. Take care and uh, have a nice day.